Boy, here we go. What's going on? So we've got a delivery from Japan. We'll show you what we've got in a second. A few things I already know, I've already used, I've already sold, but we've got a few things I haven't. So a few new things in here. Let's go through, we've got what, four boxes? All right, first up, PC11-200BG. Have not used these at all. Who knows if they're any good, <laughs> I hope so. Extremely light, that's for sure. There's almost nothing to these. That's actually pretty crazy. So if you haven't seen this range, this is the Fujia Kurikan range. And the Kurikan is the black and gold. All their gear is black and gold. Looks really nice. I don't know if these actually feel like the quality I thought they were, but it could be just because they're really light. Let's get something to cut. So we've got a couple of screws and a bit of something else. So it says only up to steel wire, four mil. Give this a go, eh? Yeah, not bad. Nice and easy. I definitely wouldn't go much larger, I think. Like they are doing a pretty good job. But I just think these handles aren't as solid as some of the other ones. Definitely gets the job done nice and light, that's for sure. So if you want to keep your weight down in your pouch, could be the way to go. Oh, here we go. Wasn't sure how these would look in person. Not bad, not bad. So I'll open up one of these. These are tethers to go onto your tools. As you can see, they're actually, these ones are elastic. Holds up to three kilos and it's 84 centimeters long. I like it. That's pretty heavy duty, that. Yes, I was so keen to try these ones. These ones are the 180 mil uh, scissor type. I don't know if they're gonna be what I actually wanted, but as you can see here, for duct and cable. So I'm hoping mainly I'll probably use it for data. That's what I usually use sort of these style cutters for. If we have a look at a bit of, what's this, six mil? Seems pretty good. And then obviously you've got that, which you can hook onto the tether if you really wanted to, if you're working at heights or something. But there you go, so yeah, so it says here, two mil by three. So like your three core cable, similar to this. Very nice. These ones, which I have been using for a long time now, this one has the ratcheting spanner. That's a 17 mil, a 13 mil, and a 10 mil. If I'm right, 13, 10, 17, yep. And obviously your normal adjusting wrench there really nice finish really nice feel i absolutely love using this on tray work because a lot of the nuts are 17 mil so it just makes it a lot easier just to carry this one around you can adjustment do all your stuff and um, what else we got there we go these ones i have used as well I don't know if I use these ones actually. These are the 225s, 225 mil. So these do have the crimps and look at that. That looks fantastic. Once again, a spot for that tether. I'm gonna be putting that on. That's gonna look so good. Japanese steel, high leverage. Got the crimper. On these ones, they don't quite, they don't quite uh, match up. So some people like that, some people don't. I rather it, that it does close up altogether. But they're a nice cut, a nice feel, nice and light. They also aren't VDE or uh, 1000 volt rated, I should say. So if you're, if you're after something that's 1000 volt rated, then these aren't the way to go. But look at that. They feel really good, actually. I really like them. It's the perfect length 
225 mil, that's what I use at the moment. I use the NWS, they're 225, and man, I really like these, really like these. I think I've got the 200 mil. Which aren't too bad, but the 225, definitely the way to go. Ah, oh, no, got these ones. These are one of my favorites. All right, so these, look, 200 mil. These ones are the cable cutting pliers. And these ones I love to use on mains cables. They're cross cuts. You know I love my cross cuts. They're definitely harsh, like a little bit more harsher than the marbles, especially for your everyday use. So to open them, you've got to open them a fair bit. When you are cutting cable, it's just like butter. So we've got some 10 mil, if we get around that, like butter, way too easy. So let's take one of these out. It's too bad these don't have it. I don't know why they don't all have it on there, but it is what it is. So whether you put it on your belt or um, your tool pouch, so if you ever do drop it and you're working at heights, I wonder if you can get shorter. I wouldn't mind like a shorter one. I guess you could always Yeah, I don't know. It's so obviously it's not to work with, but it's just a tether in case you do drop it off a scissor lift or something. Not bad, let me know what you think, hey. If you are wondering where I am, I'm actually still renovating at the moment. So got this mid renovation. So thought I'd jump onto here. I had to get back in there. But if you didn't know, I do sell Japanese tools, hot pile tools. I import a hot pile of stuff. It is all found at addictedtotools.com. But if you ever have any questions, definitely hit me up. And uh, if you have any other tools that you want me to try to get from Japan, Japan's one of my main places I import from. Definitely hit me up. Happy to show you more. But yeah, till next time. Stay addicted to tools.